Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about street light control system. So let's look at the example first. Street light control. The street light gets on for 20 seconds when there is any movement detected and then blinks with the interval of 1 second gets turned off after 30 seconds. So in this example, we will use normally open contacts and normally closed contacts. We will be also implementing latching and also we will be using some memory bits like TP and T on. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for the street light control system exam. This is the interface of TI portal version 16. So firstly, we'll go to PLC tags, default tag table. So here we need to add our inputs and outputs. So firstly, there is an out input that will be a sensor and then we have one output that is street light. As street light is an output, so its address will start with Q and then 0.0. .0. So now, after that, we'll go to program blocks and then main OB1. So here, We'll draw the ladder diagram. Firstly, I will insert a normally open contact and then a coil. So this normally open contact will be for sensor and then this coil will be for a memory bit that will be M0.0. .0. And then this M0.0 .0 should get activated for 10, 20 seconds. For that, we will use a timer operation that will be TP. Click on OK. So the preset value will be 20 seconds. And then we will use one more normally open contact and a coil. And this normally open contact will be sensor. And then this coil will be another memory bit that is M0.1. And this M0.1 should get through after 20 seconds. So for that, we'll use on delay timer that is T on. And the preset value will be 20 seconds. And this should get activated for 30 seconds. For that, we'll use one more timer that will be pulse timer TP. And the preset value will be 30 seconds. So we'll be using these <coughs> uh, memory bits later on and then we'll use network 3 in that I will insert this M1 here as normally open contact and then the M2 that is M0.2 as normally close contact here. Sorry. I will delete this and then we will use a coil that will be another memory bit say M0.3 and then this M0.3 should get on for 2 seconds. So for that we will use a TP here click on OK and the preset value will be 2 seconds. And then we'll use one more network here. I will add a normally open contact. This will be M0.1. And then there will be one more coil that is M0.2. And this M0.2 should get on after two seconds. So for that, we will use T on here. And the preset value will be 2 seconds. So it will turn on and then turn off for 2 seconds. Turn on for 2 seconds, turn off for 2 seconds. And then we will use this M2 here as normally close contact. 
to make it in a loop. So this will be M0.2 and also here this will be a normally close contact for M0.2. So what happens? M3 gets on and when this M3 gets on for two up to two seconds, then we will use one more normally close contact here. This will be for straight light that will be a normally close contact here and this will be straight light. And then we'll use this M0 point uh, this zero uh, for street light and this M0.3, this M0.3 for street light. So we will use a normally open contact, open the branch, another normally open contact, close and then a coil. So this will be M0.0 and then this will be M0.3, M0.3. And then this coil will be for street light. So what happens is that you can see here when sensor gets activated M0.0 .0 gets through and when this M0.0 .0 gets through street light gets on but this M0.0 .0 gets on for 20 seconds so here street light gets on for 20 seconds and then when sensor gets detected when sensor detects there is someone then it will wait for 20 seconds and after 20 seconds after 20 seconds this M0.1 gets through for 30 seconds. So when M0.1 gets through for 30 seconds and then M0.3 gets through. So M0.3 uh, when it gets through street light gets on but this M0.3 gets on for 2 seconds. So the street light gets on for 2 seconds and after that it will stop. It will get off. And then when M0.3 gets through and then off with that this M0.1 was true for 20 seconds and with that this M0.2 is false that means this M0.2 is in the beginning false and the street light got off after 2 seconds then it will wait for 2 seconds M0.2 gets true and when it gets true here it gets true and the current will not flow through it this M0.2 gets off and when M0.2 gets off, this M0.2 gets true. And when this M0.2 gets true, this starts again this TP. So M0.3 gets true for another 2 seconds. And this M0.3 will turn on the street light for 20 seconds. Sorry, for 2 seconds. And it will repeat this process for 30 seconds. So I will start the simulation here. Click on OK. After that, I will start the CPU and then start monitoring. And after that, I will switch to project view. Here we need to create a new project. Let's create a new project. Enter. After that, I will go to simulation table, simulation table 1, I will right click here and load project tax. So as you can see here, when sensor gets activated, the sensor gets activated. So you can see this M0.0 .0 gets through for 20 seconds and it will turn on street light. And after 20 seconds, this will stop and street light will get off. 
But after 20 seconds, M0.1 gets true and the street light is blinking on off for 2 seconds on, then 2 seconds off. 2 seconds on, 2 seconds off. What happens is that M0.3 gets true and then M0.2 gets true off and then M0.3 gets true and this M0.3 will turn on the street light again and again after 22 se seconds and for 2 seconds. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.